Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about a solo gold farm that you can do in Zeret Mortis and that can reward you with a lot of gold. This farm is really good right now during the pre-patch, but this is something that will still be good even after the launch of Dragonflight, so you can keep that in mind and you will be able to do it later in Dragonflight. In order to do this farm, you need a couple of things. First of all, you need to have a level 60 character. It's better if you have a tank or any classes that can do a lot of uh, AoE damage. Also, it's better if you don't kill the world boss in the Red Mortis Entros. Like that, you will be able to click on the little icon on the minimap and you will be able to track the world quest, which will allow you to directly see all the different groups that are being created for the boss and to join them. This is something, as we're going to see just after, that will make it very easy for you to do this farm. Just before I start the video, I just want to provide a short disclaimer about the fact that some of the items that we will be talking in today's video are transmog items. So if you are not into transmog farming or if you don't think this is valuable, uh, then I invite you to maybe watch something else. Also, all these different items are extremely rare. So if you are trying this farm, Keep in mind that you probably won't get some of these items in maybe one or two hours. It will take you quite some time before you get some. So just be mindful of that. And if you try it, just be patient. So with today's farm, of course, the different items we're after are all the different items that can drop from the mobs that are located here in the Endless Sands part of the Red Mortis. These different items include some of the cosmetic weapons, uh, such as, for instance, the sword this mace and this stuff and of course also the famous Varud's guillotine so the Varud's guillotine is this very cool looking sword until now it was selling for a lot of gold simply because it had the highest eye level for a weapon that you could find on the auction house but the eye level is now going to become obsolete with the release of dragon fight and so the only thing that matters is the unique appearance of this weapon so there are a couple of other swords that you can get that has this shape, but this one is the only one with the glow, like the red glow version of the weapon. So this is definitely something that a lot of people will still be buying during Dragonflight and still something that you will be able to make a lot of gold even after the end of Shadowlands. You will also, of course, get quite a lot of raw gold and you will also get some of these items that you can then vendor uh, at any vendors. And you will also get some materials that you can then sell on the auction house for a little bit more gold. So this sword will drop from any of the mobs that are located in the Endless Sands part of Zeret Mortis. And as you can see, the drop chance is very, very low. So the ones that have the highest drop chance are the most worn strikers and the most worn heralds. Heralds are the ones that fly in the sky. When it comes to the value and the set rate, Basically, on European realms, it's going to be between 430 and 473,000 gold, and the sell rate is 0 0.15. And as you can see, really, on any realms, it's going to be more than 300k gold. And then on US realms, it's going to be between 450 to 520k gold. And again, on most realms, it's going to be more than like 3 to 400k gold. So in order to do this farm, you have two different options. The first one that I think, in my opinion, is going to be way better is by using the group search for entrance. Basically, all you want to do is come here, that part of the map, and kill this pack of Mosthorn Strikers. You also have this Mosthorn Herald that you can get and kill with the pack. You don't need to kill the Elite mob because he will not aggro you, so don't kill him. It's just going to take more time. All you want to do is kill all these different mobs, and then you want to go in the search group Join one of the groups and then you can leave and do that again and again. And each time you can kill all these different mobs on all these different realms. And normally you will be able to kill a lot of mobs like that. If at some point you don't have any more mobs up, what you can do is just move to this over pack in this over part of the map. And you can do the same thing here. So normally by doing this method, you will always be able to kill some mobs. And this is really something that will allow you to increase your chance at getting this sword. Also, I really want to stress the fact that here you won't affect the gameplay of the people who are queuing for this boss because this is really something that people do all day long 
And normally this is auto invite. So people don't care whether you join and then leave. They are just here to kill the boss and they will always have tons of people joining. So really, this is not something that will affect anyone's gameplay. Also, for this specific technique, it's going to be better to do it maybe on a Wednesday where there is like the weekly reset and like that you will have a lot of these groups up. This is also something that will always be a little bit better maybe in the afternoon and early in the evening because there are more people playing and so you will have more groups up. But this is really something you can do at any time in the day and normally you will be able to find some groups. So if you don't want to use this group or if maybe there are none available at the moment, what you can also do is kill all the different Mosoran strikers yourself. So you have three different packs. The first one is located just here. Then you have the second one that is located just here. And then the third one is located just here. For the third one, you will have to kill an edit. It's not too difficult, it will just take a little bit more time. Then what you can do is simply wait for them to respawn. Maybe you can log out, just do something else, or just wait. And like that, you will be able to kill them again and again. So when it comes to Dragonflight, of course, uh, it will be a little bit different because you won't have the possibility to join this group search for Entro simply because it will be disabled and also because not a lot of people will be killing Entros. So here, what you want to do is really just do the second method, kill all the different Moson Strikers you can. And also, as you will be level 70, you can kill all the different elites and all the different mobs in the map and like that you will increase your chance at getting the weapon. So I think it will still be pretty good in Dragonflight. You won't be able to use the group search. That's the only thing that will change. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold with this farm. Please let me know in the comments if you were successful at getting this weapon. I know it's extremely difficult to get it, but once you get it, you will make a lot of gold and let me know if you've been able to sell a lot of these weapons. I will be back very soon with more videos and more guides and in the meantime, I wish you all a great week. Bye!